for anyone arguing that the Xbox Series S is holding back this console generation, well, Baldur's Gate 3 was the silver bullet. Larian delayed the game on Xbox because of the Series S, and they even expressed their concerns publicly. Well, three months after releasing on PS5, Xbox Series S and X players finally got Baldur's Gate 3. So how does it run on the Series S? Is there missing features? Let's talk about all that. I'm gonna start with the fact that the game's 140 gigabytes. Like most people, I have the original 512 gigabyte white Series S. Having installed Baldur's Gate 3 and Modern Warfare 3, well, that's gonna fill up about 90% of your storage. I did install the new Prince of Persia The Lost Crown in the bit of space I had left. Thanks to Ubisoft, I'm playing that game right now and my review will be out when the embargo lifts soon next week. Overall, this just shows you that you can't really fit many games on the Series S, especially when you have a large one installed like Baldur's Gate 3. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the PS5 version versus the Series S. The Series S does have a lower detail in terms of the graphics, but you know what? It still looks good and is playable. PS5 and Series X both have a performance and a quality mode, while the Series S has just the one default 30 FPS quality mode. Performance mode targets 60 FPS on PS5, but the game struggles to get to 60 FPS and you'll get rates in the 40s most of the time. Quality mode is of course a lot more stable on PS5, and because of that, on the PS5 and Series X, I do prefer the quality mode because of the stable frame rate. The Series S targets 30 FPS, it's the default, and it is stable, it's pretty much solid lock to 30. Baldur's Gate 3 is a turn-based strategy game, so 30 FPS is just fine, this type of game doesn't need 60. This game does have cross-platform saves and cross-platform play. You can link your Larian account to your Xbox account and just make sure it's the same one that's linked to your PlayStation and PC as well. You do get cloud saves with that and this lets you continue your game progress across all the different platforms. So you can be playing on the Steam Deck on the go and pick up right where you left off on your Xbox Series S. Another big feature that's important for this game is mouse and keyboard support. Mouse and keyboard are the main way to play on the PC and it's really the best way to play this game. When Baldur's Gate 3 came out on PS5, there was no mouse and keyboard support and it's still the same way. So I was hoping Larian would step up when the Xbox version came out. I've seen other games that don't have mouse and keyboard on PS5 but do have it on the Xbox. With Baldur's Gate 3, it's disappointing. Even on the Xbox, there is no mouse and keyboard support. I know lots of console players want this feature. It shouldn't be too difficult to add really. So hopefully Larian brings it to console in the future. Now the big feature that's missing on the Xbox Series S is the split screen. PS5 and Series X do have split screen co-op. This is actually a great feature if you want to sit down next to your friend or your girlfriend and play this game. There's not too many games these days that do offer local co-op. So it's refreshing to see it in Baldur's Gate 3. Split screen does default to 30 FPS lock on the PS5 and Series X. As I said, it's a great feature and there's some rumors that it might come to the Series S in the future, but for now, it's really the main thing that's missing. Now you do have the online multiplayer available on the Series S Xbox version as well, and you can play with your friends on other platforms, PC, PS5, so there is multiplayer. Now I'll be honest, Baldur's Gate 3 isn't my type of game, as you can see, I'm still in the early stages of the game you're probably thinking well then why the heck did you make this video and why am i listening to you talk about this game while the goal here was really to showcase how the game runs on the series s and the limitations it has you gotta remember larian didn't release this game on xbox because of the series s initially but you know what it goes to show that if a studio really puts effort into it anything can run on the series s so is the Series S really holding back this generation? Anyways, here's some gameplay of Baldur's Gate 3 on the Xbox Series S so you get to see how it runs. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This 
is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave, or you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. as faded as the memories of the children that played them. Wonder what became of them. 